is May 8th, 2020. I'm Kimberly Jolly from Fat Quarter Shop. Super, super excited to uh, meet with you guys today. I'm gonna show you a little bit about what I'm working on. I'm gonna show you a quilt I made last year, and then we're just gonna do a general Q&A um, just to keep things a little bit simple today. So I wanted to show you Sherry McConnell from A Quilting Life. She has a great blog. She has lots of stuff on her blog that's free, lots of tips. She has a cute little video on how to store your scraps. And every year she does a free block of the month. So I just wanted to show you what, um, what I'm working on with it. This is April's block. And I am using the Vintage Happy Two collection by Lori Holt and I am making the six inch size. In her free pattern, she gives you three size options, which is great. Um, her original was, um, I think, 12, and I, I'm really, this year, one of my things is to just make smaller quilts because I enjoy smaller pieces more and I don't really have any room for quilts. So this is last, last month's block, and then here is this month's block, and I really like how it's coming out. I'm really enjoying the little background that has a little bit of pink to it. And that's just something free that you guys can do, um, you know, use up your stash. So again, a Quilting Life blog by Sherry McConnell. So that, I've been working on that. Another thing I'm working on is Moda Blockheads 3 you would go to the Moda Fabrics blog and they have a whole section on Moda Blockheads. The block right here is Block 16 by Sherry McConnell. And what I'm doing is I'm making six inch blocks and 12 inch blocks and I'll be setting them in the Farm Girl Vintage 2 cover quilt. So my blocks have a sashing around them or a border around them and so we've had questions on why mine have borders and that's why this is block 17 that came out this week and um i was just having a really hard time designing it i work in electric quilt to kind of color my stuff and i just couldn't get it um the way i like so i added corner squares which actually i just turned these into half square triangles and on this, you'll see that I reversed my colors. So my block looks very different from what Betsy Chechen's block is. It's the same exact block, I just added my own little touch to it. So that, guys, is what I've been sewing on. One tip I was gonna talk about that I have been getting questions on is when I make a block like this, where you um, add borders, like for example, if it's one inch cut or one and a half, I will cut bigger. I just cut them bigger. So on this, I just cut bigger and then I use a square creative grids ruler, put it on top and trim around. So that's how my blocks look so perfect. I, yes, it wastes fabric, but I get these beautiful blocks. So let me know if you guys have any questions um, on the blockheads. One thing that I'm running into on the blo the motor blockheads I'll tell you is I really love making the six inch blocks so much. It's kind of my new thing is just making smaller blocks. So what I have found is all my blocks are six inch and so I need to like add some variety to my 12 inch. So I have too many six inch compared to 12 inch. So that's gonna kind of put me a little bit behind in building my rows, but um, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, we do have a few questions. Uh, first one from Wilma Evans. She said, can you start the blockheads anytime? Yes, and so there's Moda Blockheads 1 that's also in a book by Martingale. There's Moda Blockheads 2 and Moda Blockheads 3, and all of that is free on the Moda Fabrics blog. And you could mix and match. Um, every year they set it up a little bit different. Um, so they, so it's just different each year just to make it different, mm -hmm. if, if that makes any sense. Yeah, variety. Uh, Teresa Harper says, what are the boards that you put the blocks on? So these are design boards, and these are Lori Holt design boards. You can see the little sticker. We sell them, but you can also make them. And there's a video, it's one of our very first videos on our channel. Just search Lori Holt design boards. Basically what it is, is I can never remember the name of this board. Oh, poster board? It's not poster board, foam it's board? Fo foam core board. Oh. A quarter inch, 
and then you glue batting to one side and then you put binding around it and you can use hot glue yeah glue gun mm -hmm. is that called hot glue yeah hot glue yeah gun. yeah so um, I have a ton of these and these are from my house and so it, I kind of as I'm sewing I'll put them on the board bring it to work bring it back and then a lot of times where we work it's super windy so what I try to do is this so that when I walk in my blocks don't fly everywhere and they stay flat yes all right um, and then we had an amazing comment from Teresa earlier so I'm gonna read this to you she says I had this weird dream last night that FQS did a live stream quilt show and had all their customers sending quilts and they gave prizes this is the second time I've dreamt about fat quarter shop in the age of Instagram why would they have people sending quilts that's so funny that's that actually hilarious. a pretty good idea except that we oh. would get so many quilts that people would get their feelings hurt mm -hmm. so yeah we want to spread the love to everyone I feel like I would just give everyone like number one prize for everything. I'd oh yeah, like, she can't pick. Awesome. She can you never have, awesome. if she has kids, she's going to be like that mom <laughs> who's like, always has a favorite kid and it's all of them yes. at all the same time. Everyone, always. All right. Um, and then Kathy Longstreet was asking if you've always done quilting and cross stitch. Yeah, always. Um, I used to, cross stitch is the very first craft that I, actually crochet was my first craft. Oh. I learned when I was like five or six, there was a huge snow sorry huge rainstorm and we got stuck at my grandmother's house uh, for a couple of days because of flooding in Austin and um, we lived pretty far from my grandmother so um, she taught me and then when I was about 10 I learned cross stitch and then when I was like 25 I learned quilting oh, okay. so um, I wanted to show you another thing so our sew sampler box quilt last year is called goodness grows and I'm gonna show you the quilt I made it's very big and I made this one and so this is the first time I can really show it because the quilt is all shown now so this is one side and then I'll show you the other side so I made this quilt last year now I can take it home yay, yay. okay let me turn it around yeah, it's easier to show you half and half mm -hmm. actually so what we did for the sew sampler last year was really um, something positive. Um, all the pattern names have positive names because we thought that was like a good reminder to people um, that maybe needed some positivity in their life. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that we did though is I don't like applique. You guys know that. <laughs> so in our kits, we have this applique sheets so everything is there you just peel them off and so all you have to do is stitch it down and what I did is I took I used matching thread we have a thread set I think we're out now but um, we'll get more eventually is I stitched about an eighth of an inch in and I just did a straight stitch instead of a blanket stitch I had tried to do a blanket stitch because um, I did a little test and I didn't like the way it looked so I just stitched inside and if I ever wash it it'll kind of do the raw edge applique fray look I'll probably never wash it I know some of you guys y'all crack me up because y'all say that I one lady was like Kimberly's so gross because she doesn't wash her wash her quilts I'm Aww. like I have like 200 quilts I'm not gross I don't use all of them yeah. but it cracked cracked me up um, so I was actually able to do an applique quilt because of these and what I wanted to let you know is this was our original quilt that was out a year ago the quilt behind me is our new quilt so it's the same exact quilt Corey Yoder designed this by the way and this one was made and quilted by Melissa Corey and using the new fabric so we ran out of the first fabrics we made more and you should have all of the patterns there's 12 patterns in your sew sampler box but if you aren't in the sew sampler box and you're interested we sell pattern sets and pdfs mm -hmm. and your kit would come in a cute little box with your applique pieces um and then we have some backing sets so i just kind of wanted to show that because we got some requests to show what the sew sampler quilt was last year mm -hmm. this year we can't show you the sew sampler quilt because it's a surprise each month and it's kind of one of those things that we put in there 
just for so sampler members to add something different and we change it every year so this year we went back to solids and um, traditional blocks and um, really nice also but then it's totally different from this year's which was more fun applique lots of white space so we're trying to change it up and just do something totally different every year and then that appeals to um, kind of everybody because we got a lot of requests a couple of years ago oh I want applique so hey we delivered we did applique so and it's I, I really like that I was able to do the applique okay. so uh, first requests we had um, I've lost the comment of who asked but if we could see the applique such as you did up close yep So you can barely see, and I used matching thread from the thread set, which I know we're sold out of now, but I used matching thread so that you wouldn't even see the stitches. And the quilting, Mike from mylongarm.com did the quilting. And it's a rose print and it's my favorite pantograph. So. And then next question was uh, from Pace Anderson. Do we still have the applique kits? Because I would like to use this and what fabric was used? So the applique pieces are only available in the kit. So this kit right here is sold out. The one behind me is um, if you just ter type so sampler goodness grows kit, you would get everything and they're only available in the kit. Mm -hmm. Because we, um, we used a company to make them. Yeah. And the fabric collections? Fabric are, collections. Uh, so the one hanging up is Sugar Creek. And, and then? Strawberry Jam. Okay, yes. This original was Strawberry Jam, now sold out. And then the one behind me is? Sugar Creek. Sugar Creek. Yes. And they're both Cory Yoder collections. Obviously, she's the designer, and she did the fabric placement. And then when we switched the kit, because we sold out right away, and when we made new kits, she helped us with the fabric placement. And we do try, you know, every couple of years, like, we'll have different designers design what goes in the sew sampler box. Sometimes we do it. Sometimes we have a designer do it. We just change it up all the time. Uh, Laura Gearhart was asking if we have fabric requirements for the next sew sampler quilt. Yes, it should be on the blog. All right, on the blog. Uh, Wilma Evans says, how do you store all your 200 quilts? So I have a closet at my house that I put them in. I have a little hutch in my house. All of my quilts that my kids like, they put them in the room or there's a closet upstairs. And then here in the building, we have a big hutch. And so quilts like this, I can't take home yet, but like today I can take this one home. Um, I just kind of put them wherever and then yeah one time I just sold like a hundred on eBay because I was just like I was moving and I just was like I need to get rid of these they're out of style I don't need them so yeah they're kind of everywhere and then I have two couches um, well yeah two couches and they kind of just go some they're like over the couch they're kind of wherever and I kind of just change them out um, so they're never used that much. I mean, the person who uses them the most is my mother-in-law because she's always really cold um, by nature. So whenever she comes over, we always make sure there's one that she can like use. All right. Yeah, I'm the same. I get cold very easily at my house. <laughs> I use the yeah. quilts I have. All right. Um, from Gail Johnson, are so sampler boxes available or is there a wait list right now? There's a wait list. We just got on a wait list. All right. Um, from Linda Lee, since Designer Mystery Quilt 2019, the last block is going out, have you shown or will you be showing the completed quilt? What's this? Oh, but Designer Mystery, sorry. Designer Mystery. Year. We can add that to the list mm -hmm. if somebody emails me. <laughs> yes, I'll make a note. Yeah, just email me after Lily and we'll, um, I'm trying to think of where that quilt is, but I know I made it, so it's somewhere. <laughs> so what's funny is, I never know where the quilts are. So first I will say, um, oh, can you find it? And then Nova keeps a list or she knows where everything is. And so we hope it's here. And if not, I start digging through my whole house. I'll have to show it to my, my kids. Hey, do you know where this is? All right. 
Uh, and then question from Sherry Seitz. She says, how much bigger do you cut the fabrics to make your blocks? Everything you do looks so perfect. So if it's a border, like an extra border that I'm gonna trim down, I do half an inch just because in my mind, I can do that math better. You really only need to do a quarter inch. I just, it's easier for me to do the half inch math. Um, I, if I'm making my block block, I'll just use, re like if this one, I just use the regular sizes. But I starch, I have several videos on how I starch. I learned that starch method from Lisa Bonjean. And, um, we have a new um, a new thing coming out that I'm actually starching everything and I'm gonna work on it this weekend. It's a new bundle, it's called Be Patriotic. Mm. Um, and we have a certain number of bundles. It's a red, white, and blue bundle. Lori Holt designed it. It's all of her fabrics. And that is something that we'll be talking about more in June and I will be making, um, Lori made the blocks in 12 inch. I'm making them in six inch. It will be using her Christmas book and um, it's going to be where because a lot of you already have the book it's a way to show you how even though the book is Christmas how you can make it patriotic or anything you want you don't have to um, it's just a way to kind of show you color color placement thinking outside the box kind of like all of this stuff and so just to kind of let my YouTube viewers know that will be going on in June and um, we will have more information soon. We just put the bundle online, but when that bundle sells out, I'm not sure we will be able to make more. So if you like Lori Holt, you know, you would want to get that and all we don't have any of the information out yet because we're just now in the sewing phase. Um, but just to give you kind of like a peek into what I'm working on right now, I'm working on Moda Blockheads, I'm working on Sherry McConnell's, I'm working on the the Be Patriotic that I will be working on this weekend and we are going to have a free pattern that we release next fall and there's it's going to be available in three sizes and so I am making all three sizes. So I uh, made, I think I've made 25 so far or 24 because I'm making every size so I've been doing that. And so one of the things about the live stream is, you know, a lot of times I don't show you guys what I'm working on, but I'm always working on stuff behind the scenes. But like, for example, I made this a year ago and I can just now show you. Mm -hmm. So I'm always kind of doing stuff ahead of time. And so sometimes that takes the fun out of being able to show you what I'm really working on because things are like designer mystery. I sew all of those quilts, but I can't show you until the end. So mm -hmm. sometimes it's hard because I'm working on stuff, but I can't always show you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a few more questions coming in, but I'm going to save those for the Q&A portion okay. of the live stream today. Uh, and then we also have a new YouTube member, Kitty Gage. Welcome, Kitty. Thank you. And so for our YouTube members, that is something that's totally optional. You don't have to do it. But in there, in your community tab, if you are a member, there's a free pattern. And next week, we will be doing a video where I'm going to debut some stuff. Mm -hmm. So that will be next week. I haven't picked a time or date yet because all of that kind of happened last night and mm -hmm. I haven't had a time to um, look at my schedule. Yeah, and I have a picture here of what their pattern looks like right now. You want to it is it? a free, it's an It's So Emma little pea pattern. And so, so Jocelyn took it and colored it in a totally different fabric mm -hmm. to show you, and it's a free pattern in the uh, the community tab. Sorry, for... community tab. And just so you guys know, um, the reason we haven't put coupons in there recently is because we're behind on shipping because of everything going on. And so I don't want to give a coupon and then mm -hmm. you're, it, it, we're just behind. And so we're trying not to, to um, push sales too much just because mm -hmm. we need to catch up. Yeah. So that's why we're trying to give you guys something different. Um, yeah. Do you want to get to the Q&A? Yeah, Q &A so stuff? we're just going to do Q&As for the rest. Um, we just thought it would be a fun time. So Lily has a lot of questions. I'll yeah. try to answer them a little bit quicker so we can get through them because we got more than normal. Yeah, we got a lot of questions. Um, the first few I'm going to ask are going to be from our YouTube members that were actually submitted a week ago, um, and then we'll get to uh, everyone's here. Uh, first one from Mary Tobias says, does Kimberly sew her labels on top of fabric before she pieces them in? So what I do on my labels is first I buy those from Sweetwater Label Company. I'm not paid to say that. I buy them. I get them just like all of you guys. And I 
The older ones had fusible on the back where you peeled it off, so I would put those on top of fabric. The new ones don't, so I just put fabric around it and I sew it in, just like a quilt block. Okay. From Linda Gordon, thank you Fat Quarter Shop team for everything you've done to help things feel semi-normal. The designer mystery quilt looks gorgeous. When will it start shipping? Designer Mystery 2020 will be shipping in June, early June. The finishing kit will be shipping in July and we will be emailing customers about that. It's a delay in the package box because of everything going on in the world, there are shipping delays. So that will ship in July. We will be emailing about that later. We don't wanna email right now just because we're so behind that we don't wanna cause any more um, questions to come in while we're catching up giving ourselves a way to breathe, basically. Mm -hmm. um, Catherine Dolson says, I know the pandemic has caused delays. How long do we wait until we call customer service? We are about 12 to 15 days behind. We are trying our best to get caught up. Mm -hmm. So it'd be if it's after two those. weeks. Yeah, after two weeks then, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, Life So Crazy says, on your Juki, do you use the foot that came on it or a different one for piecing? And okay. if it's a different one, can you tell us what? Okay, so this is the question I get all of the time. I bought my machine a long time ago. Like, my twins were, I mean, like nine years ago. I randomly called, like, a website that sold feet. And a guy, he literally just mailed me one for like 10 bucks. I don't know where I bought it because back then I didn't have a YouTube channel. I didn't know people were gonna ask. Even social media wasn't as crazy as it is now. So I don't know where I bought it and I don't know I don't know where what it is. It definitely is not made by Juki. I just randomly got lucky because the Juki is is um, the foot that comes with it is in centimeters because it's that's just how it's made. So it was never I could never get it as accurate as I wanted. So I'm sorry that I don't have that answer, but I bought that so long ago. Uh, from Cheryl Thompson, does beeswax, uh, using beeswax on thread for hand stitching leave oil on the fabric or cross stitch fabric? To me it doesn't. I've been using it recently and um, I like it. Uh, from Kristen McCuller, she says, when you plan for a sew sampler box or any of the specialty boxes, how far in advance do you need to start them? Uh, to get them all ready on time. She also says the person who is in charge of these must have a mega brain to keep on top of all of them at once. Whoever it is, I love them. Oh, well, yes, there is a person. It's her name is Cody. Ooh. We're six months in advance. Well over six months. And we have a, what we do is we have a spreadsheet. We keep notes. It's all very, um, it's amazing what we can do. Um, but yes, six months in advance. Mm -hmm. Sometimes nine. Wow. Uh, Nancy Lane says, how do you find the time to quilt and cross stitch? I don't ever stop. So when I get up, I go. Like this morning, I was running a little bit late. I'm not feeling so great today. Um, I have a headache. It's not COVID, but I have a massive <laughs> migraine. I've had it since um, yesterday and I can't get it to go away. Um, what was the question? Oh, <laughs> so how do I get, yes. So I basically just go, go, go. And um, when I'm home, uh, my kids will just come and, like right now they can't go anywhere. So they'll either do puzzles in the kitchen or they'll just come hang out with me when I quilt. So my plan today, for example, is um, since I have this massive headache is to, hopefully it goes away. I'm just, and I'll probably just work through it. I'll just power through it. Um, my plan today is to go home and starch the rest of the bundle for Lori. And then tomorrow morning, I try to, um, I don't wanna say, what do you, like assembly line, but that's kind of what I do. So when I go home, I am gonna make my blocks the same as Lori. So I'm gonna first, I have them all printed. I'm gonna write down page number, block name, and then I'm gonna starch, and then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna cut all 12 blocks at one time. And I'll put them with my alphabetties and my design boards, stack all 12. I'll do all my triangle papers at the same time all my straight stitching at the same time. I'll make all 12, I bet I can make all 12 six inch blocks in one day, but I start and I don't stop. Um, I don't cook, I don't clean, I do do laundry, um, but there's a lot of things that I don't do so that I am able to do the things that I do do well. Um, my kids are going nowhere, so I'm not a taxi. 
I am getting so much done because I have nowhere to go. I will say this morning my Starbucks by my house opened and I almost like cried. Oh, yay. I mean, like I almost cried and the lady who saw me, she was like, oh, it's so good to see you. I mean, you can't hug, you can't touch. But um, it was really nice to just have, know that I can go to the Starbucks by my house mm -hmm. and see the people that work there. I mean, yeah, um, it's really nice. Yeah, that's lovely. So yeah, my answer to my question is I'm very organized and I just go. I don't stop. And I put a lot of TV on. Ooh, yes, that helps it. Uh, Gianna Reichley says, how will the shipping delays impact pre-orders and upcoming blocks of the month? Those should be shipping as normal. Lori E says, thank you so much for all the work you and everyone does for us. I see the greatest hits kit is sold out. Will you be getting more? Yes, those will not be available until August. Um, all of the companies right now are delayed on solids because people are making masks. So um, that is why we obviously, I would have bought more kits if I would have known that there would have been a mass um, purchase on solids. So it will be August, but yes, it is top of our list. We are going to make more. I'm so sorry, but um, what happened is all of the whites and blacks, all of the manufacturers, Motor, Robert Kaufman, Wilmington, everyone, big companies came in and nursing homes came in and bought direct from those places the um, solids because that way they could make um, disposable gowns for their... There's lots of stuff going on behind the scenes that you don't know about, but like... Some people just came in and bought masks. Some people came in and just bought um, disposable um, gowns for their nursing home so that that way they're easy to wash and there was less. Um, anyway, that's kind of the, the reason that solids are behind masks, nursing homes, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Love Pugs, great username, says, do you have any new books in the works? Also, thanks for the entertainment and instructional videos. Stay safe. Yes, and next week will be a brand new book trunk show. Woo! I'm excited for that. Uh, Dorothy Phelps says, my birthday is Friday, so I believe it was this past Friday. She said, should I bake my own cake since I can't go out? Oh, happy birthday. So with Emma, Emma's birthday was in April, April 5th, and she lo she's very... Um, she likes red velvet, and I was like, I don't know that I could make that, and plus, I didn't want her to see it. So I snuck out of the house that morning. I went first thing in the morning so I would be around less people. I, there's a, I started driving. First I went to the cookie store, they were closed. Then there's a cupcake store by our house, they were closed. So then I was like, oh, Whole Foods. So there's a Whole Foods right by my house. I walked in, um, I went straight to the bakery. There was one red velvet. I got it, I put it in the fridge. She didn't even notice and she cooks and she didn't even notice it in the fridge. Aww. And then the next day she was like, well, I don't know what we're gonna do for her birthday. And I was like, well, I got a cake. Aww. So yeah, so I would just, I mean, yeah, maybe sneak into Whole Foods. <laughs> they have the best cakes for the best price. I mean, I had a friend that when he got married, he, um, he did it kind of on a budget and one of the things that they did is they just went to Whole Foods and they bought like every kind of cake in advance. They're like 20 bucks a piece and so at their wedding it was like all these cakes and they were so amazing and it was a great way to save money um, on a wedding so you don't have to buy like that big huge um, yeah. and it was a pretty big wedding. Wow. I didn't know that about Whole Foods cakes. I'm oh, they're good that. and they're um, they're not very, it was like nineteen ninety nine for like, it was like this tall and this big. It was huge. Wow. What a deal. Um, how old is Emma? 13. And oh she has gosh. grown. She's right here. Uh-huh. Like, she's this tall. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's, uh, Kevin, when he came home last night, was like, oh, my gosh, stop growing. It's like she's grown, like, it's just, like, every day. Oh. <laughs> I know. When she's in the car, I, like, look at her, like, oh, you're big. <laughs> Gina Tell says, now I want cake, LOL. Oh, yeah, I want cake. I want, I want a, anything. I want a meal. I want to go sit at a restaurant and eat, but... But I just won't. I yeah. don't. I don't want to that bad. I guess. Yeah. Uh, Kathy just says, "I am curious where Make a Wish donations are standing. I know a lot of charities are really suffering." So they're at forty-four thousand as of Wednesday. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, yes, amazing. 
Sorry, just adding a question here. Okay. Tina Crawford says, uh, I'm staying safe as much as possible on the ultimate beginner quilt. I did most of them, but can you give me some pointers on block seven? I'm doing it over, LOL. So I don't know if you remember block seven. It was the one that was like the... Hourglass? The, the, no, it was the arrows pointing different directions. Okay. So I would say, you know, start, sh- just go slow. What I had to do last weekend, just as an example, or two weekends ago, we're working on this new program and it was this block and it's so complicated and I just got so frustrated. So what I did was I just stopped. I started over. I went to my fabric, I re-ironed it, I recut it, and I just started from fresh and I did it first thing in the morning and I was able to do the block. So sometimes you just have to start over and just make sure your cutting is accurate and make sure you've ironed it all really flat before you start. Uh, Janice Hopper says, binding question, do you always cut your binding on the bias? I almost never do. So I don't like bias binding, I like the way it looks. Um, Lately, I've been getting Deborah and customer service to do all of my binding because her binding is amazing. That's another reason I can get a lot done because I pay someone to do my binding. But I will say I love to do binding. It's one of my favorite things. Um, I just don't have time right now. But um, I rarely do it on the bias because it is so stretchy. Um, I usually do it on the straight. Dave and Sue Ann Sutterman says, I'm new, so I saw your sewing, loved it. Like the rulers and holder, I saw baskets in your storage, crisscross sides with oval openings as handles. Where did you get those? Tell me again, the handles? I think they're the cross-weaved looking white ones, the storage oh, baskets. Okay, Target. 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 Target, Target is the best. And you know, some of that stuff is hidden in their store. I mean, I haven't been to Target in like three months, but um, mm-hmm. the paper boxes are in like the scrapbook section and the woven boxes are in the like kitchen section Mm -hmm. Uh, kelly goddard says kimberly do you apply your own binding and what is your go-to binding method so um deborah's been doing it for me for the last couple months Um, my go-to method is our binding i use the binding tool we filmed a video like six or seven years ago, just Kimberly's binding. That's kind of how I do it. And I, everybody, like a lot of people don't like binding. I love binding. I love to sit and do it. I just don't have time now, but I, but um, yeah. Crystal Ekman says, thank you for all you do and the amazing customer service. Stay safe. Will Fat Quarter Shop be carrying Far Horizons line by Henry Glass? No. Uh, Jody Richards says, do you accept book proposals? No. Sorry. <laughs> Crystal Rose says, what does Fat Quarter Shop do with end bold cuts and have you considered selling scrap bags? So right now what we do is we put them in these big, um, big boxes and our employees buy them or um, we give a lot to... Uh, Project Linus. So there's a person in Austin and she emails my warehouse manager and every month or so she'll come and she'll pick up the boxes of them. So we give them to charity and like for masks. There were several people in Austin and I just contacted them because I saw them in the newspaper and I said, come pick it up. And I just gave them boxes. Um, To sell it, it would be kind of hard because we put them in huge boxes. You know, we don't fold it. It's just thrown in there and to ship it would probably cost a fortune. But we just put them in huge boxes and kind of give them away or sell them to our employees for super cheap. It's just like a bonus of working here. Mm-hmm. Cause sometimes I see my employees walking out with them. Cracks me up. I mean, they're <laughs> huge boxes. Yeah. Uh, Smith and Kitten had a lot of questions, uh, but only the last one is technically the real question. Okay. So uh, she says, can you guys make a feature on the site where you can build your own quilt kit? You could start with a pattern, then go through the pattern, choosing what fabric you want for each category. That shouldn't take more than, oh, I don't know, a million lines of code. Yeah, I saw that question. That was on our list years ago. Yeah. I think now it's probably not on the list right now. Yeah. She says, seriously, though, it would be an awesome feature. It would be. Real question. Will there be a kit for Stacy Issues Spooky Sampler Quilt? Uh, can you email me that, Lily? I, I don't have that. it on the list to... No, I don't think it's on the list, and I think it's past the order date. So okay. it's past the order date. But, I mean, of course, you know, you could buy it. Yeah. It's not on the pass the order date. Mm-hmm. All right, Brenda Johnson says, when you get in the quilt kits, like the ones that come in the decor boxes, do you have to cut the fabric or does it come done already? 
So the ones that Moda makes, we just buy and resell. The ones that we make, we cut. So it kind of depends. So like our specialty boxes, we only do those for charity or designer mystery and those we do cut. So we cut our charity and our designer mystery. The Moda kits, Moda cuts. Moda cuts, Moda kits. <laughs> um, she also said, I know Fat Quarter Shop always makes sure there's enough fabric. Wondering if we actually get more fabric in your kits or if they're all the same. So in our kits, we try to give five inches around. If you're getting anything with an Itso Emma pattern, you should have plenty because that's kind of my motto. Uh, so yes, right. we try to, we and we do, anytime we cut a kit internally, we, we meaning Nova goes through the kit line by line and we look at the cutting and we add, our, our number is five. So we give five inches extra. So you'll notice that sometimes if you buy like a Lori Holt kit, especially you're getting a lot more fabric than you need because we want to make sure you have enough if you need to recut because that would be crazy if everyone called and said oh i cut wrong so we do try to give more that's one thing that we are definitely known for all right from pace anderson they say hi kimberly and fat quarter shop gang just a quick question when will the all hollows eve be coming in and will there be a solo along or any type for this fabric this year it's may i don't have a date yet we are in may um so sometime this month i don't have a a closer date um but i don't think we have any sew alongs planned for that all right patrice ryan says uh cross stitch related is it possible to create a feature on the site that when we order a pattern with one click we can add on all the required floss in lieu of adding one at a time uh it's on the list kevin said it's going to take a while to develop but it's definitely on the list on the radar but it's not easy to do with the shopping cart we have but it is definitely on the list. I can't give you a date yet. Uh, from Sheila Ham, thank you for, thank you all for working so hard during this difficult time. You all do an amazing job. And I think she put a little vampire dude or a fairy. That's very <laughs> cute. Um, she says, I am just learning how to quilt and I am wondering how do I know when to press the seam open versus to the dark side to enable nesting? Is there a rule or preference that you would suggest when to press open versus to the side? Thank you in advance. So I usually, if I can make all the seams nest, I will press to one side. When I make small blocks, I press open, but it just depends. So like all of these, I made the seams nest and I press to one side. So I prefer to press to one side, but if, but if, so like on this, I was able to press to one side. So if I can get them to nest, I will press to one side. If I cannot get them to nest and they're gonna, they're gonna cause bulk because it's not possible to nest then we press open so that's my rule of thought and if i press open i do use a really tight stitch so for example in the new free um free sew along that we're going to have later in the year free pattern some of the block one of the options is three inch just because i thought that would be fun so those are obviously all pressed open but i do a really tiny stitch like one in like a one inch stitch length and let me tell you, that's not fun to take out, but it keeps it where when you press open the, sh the, the, um, I guess the, it does, it makes it where it's harder for it to come apart. Pressure on the seams that. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Uh, just Ducky says, would you do a video of how to use Moda's bias tape for binding, please? Oh. We can put that on the list for later in the year. So can you put that for like December? Yes. We're, um, yeah. I've never used it, to be honest. Yeah. All right, and Gianna Reichley says, very excited for the live stream. Is Tulis Pink's Daybreak Quilt featuring line work EPP or traditional sewing? It is traditional sewing. So if you guys didn't see, Tula Pink released a fabric line this yes. week. Yes. It's called line work. It has 13 SKUs, one backing. It has a block of the month and a kit. The block of the month was designed by Jaybird Quilts. It's called Nebula. And in her pattern, she has templates, but it also uses the her rulers, Hex and More. And um, that is if you use her ruler or the templates, it's there's no Y seams, it's traditional piecing. It's just a lot of 45 degree, um, angles and so a lot of bias sewing so you know you would just want to make sure you use pins it's really pretty yeah. um it, it i would say it's a 
a medium to advanced quilter. Mm -hmm. yeah. But definitely no Y seams and no, um, not, not foundation paper, not English paper piecing, sorry. Yes, not EPP. Yeah, I saw it on her Instagram and I was like yelling. It was great. Yeah, positive yelling. <laughs> um, Mel W says, will we get an extension on the coupon expiry dates since yes. our boxes are delayed? Okay. Yes. Uh, Deanna Lanker says, would it be possible to make the library cards into quilt labels and fabric? So on that one, for Lori Holt, uh, Riley Blake prints all of Lori's fabrics. I don't print Lori's fabrics. I pass that on to her. Um, but she would have to take it from there because that's kind of like that would be wrong for me to try to print labels or print fabric because she designs for Riley Blake. So that would be an infringement. But I pass that comment on. So um, Lori will take it from here on that. LTD Quilting says, I love your top. Where did you get it? I'm in this little box subscription. Uh, Lily and I were talking about it. It's called Trunk Club. Mm -hmm. And so it came in the Trunk Club. Uh, Becky Lemon says, will the Fat Quarter Bundle be what is needed for the Be Patriotic quilt? Yes, you will also need background, borders, all that, but we're working out the math on that. And I have plenty ordered on that, like a thousand yards on one of the, on the background skis, so you should have plenty, but we're still working on um, putting all the information together. Uh, Cherry Gam says, can you talk about the Bonnie and Camille quilt b-book? We're going to talk about it next Friday. Ooh. So stay tuned. Um, Eliza Harper says, can you talk about starching the kits? Why do you starch them? So I starch because I get more accurate points. So it's just a personal preference. Um, I starch everything. Um, I wouldn't enjoy a quilt if I didn't starch because I just wouldn't enjoy it. It wouldn't be as perfect. Um, it's just a personal preference, but you know, you don't have to do it the way I do it. All right. uh, Tracy Vasquez says, is the Lori Holtz Vintage Christmas book for the Patriotic Bundle? Yes. Ah. All right. Uh, and Priscilla Martin wants to know when will be Patriotic start? It'll be like June. We're working out the details. So I have just kind of on that kind of stuff, I'm just trying to give you guys a heads up since you watch me and I appreciate that you watch me and take the time out of your day. So it's just a way to like, hey, this is what we're doing. But a lot of times I don't have all the details. I'm just kind of giving you a heads up. Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense. I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be evasive anyway. Anyway, we're just um, real early in the stages. Yeah. And she's going to be doing more than one thing with that bundle. Ooh. Uh, Jacqueline and Vaughn Woodward says, when will the new Tula Pink line work collection be available? October. Mm -hmm. But I believe it's on the website for It's all on the website for yeah. pre-order. I believe it's October. I'm pretty sure it's October. Yeah, I'm, I think you're right. Teresa says, I'm really surprised that Quilt Market isn't doing a virtual market online. Does they Kimberly... Are. Oh, they are. Okay. I don't know all the details, but um, I know what Moda will be doing. Moda is going to have each of their designers are going to do like little videos and oh. put them out. Um, I saw that QuiltCon is going to be virtual. Oh, um, we wow. will be showing stuff too. Ooh. So we'll do a trunk show next week. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be, it is going to be what it is. Okay. And then she was asking, does Kimberly have any news about possible delays with the new collections? Uh, fabric really hasn't been delayed as much as notions and things like that. I would just say solids are going to be delayed. Um, but you know, if it's, if we get an update from a manufacturer, we just update the site rather than um, but I think Moda's on time, Robert Kaufman's on time, Riley Blake's on time. It's just the solids are going to be really tough to get from from anybody. All right. Uh, and then we have a few very sweet comments here. Anna D. Davis says, we are so lucky that you and Kevin decided to start this business. I wish more businesses had your ethics. Thank oh, you. thank you. We try. That's very we sweet. try. Um, and then from Laura Hamilton, she says, when I placed my order, I received an, ex an expected ship date and all of my lovely fabric should be here on the date promised. Thanks, and I'm so excited to receive my first order from Fat Quarter Shop. Yeah, and we're putting, Kevin updates the, we have a little COVID link on the top and it gives you delivery dates and he updates it when it changes. Um, so. 
Uh, and then we had a funny comment from Marsha Baker uh, when you were talking about Emma's birthday. She said, today is my daughter's birthday. She's 43. It's crazy oh. since I'm, I'm still 39. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's funny. Um, Margaret Haglund says, Kimberly, happy Mother's Day. Are you looking forward to anything for Mother's Day? So for Mother's Day, as a joke, I sent Kevin this, like, uh, what, Louis Vuitton, like, pink purse that was nice. cute. I mean, he's never going to buy it. Never. Aww. But I sent it to him as like a joke and because we joke around a lot. And so every day I'm like, did you buy my purse? And of course, I know he hasn't <laughs> bought it because, first of all, he would never sp- he or I probably would never spend that much money on something. And I have access to all the bank accounts, so he hasn't bought it. But no, um, my kids, they painted some stuff for me. Um, I thought about, you know, going to a restaurant, but I don't want my kids to go anywhere. So, mm-hmm. no, I'm just going to sit at home and do whatever. No, I mean, I don't. My kids are my kids are home. My kids are healthy. My kids don't, you know. I don't know what we'll do. I'm sure. I bet Emma will make me breakfast. I bet she'll Aww. make me some eggs. That'll be good. I mean, whatever. It's not. It's not a big deal. Usually we would just go eat. Um, I do need to call and order my mom flowers today. Um, there's a little florist on the same sh- like main street she lives on, and so I need to call and do that today. Hmm. I need to do that too, actually. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, well, I was trying to think of something I could buy her, and usually I go to, like, Dillard's and get her, she likes these two different perfumes or makeup or just get, like, a little box, like, a box set of something. That's what I always do is something from Dillard's right by my house. So I'm like, I don't really want to go to Dillard's, so. Mm-hmm. And, you know, um, I did get gas today for the first time in, like, six weeks because yeah. I haven't been going anywhere. I wrecked my car. I totaled my car. Mm-hmm. I drove to work with Kevin. I got a new car, and I finally had to get gas. So I was like, oh, it's nice. I get to get gas. I was actually excited. I was like, oh, normal. <laughs> Something normal. <laughs> Getting gas. Yeah. Aww. Teresa says, do you know when the Coulter's Cottage Kits will ship? They will be in June. And that's because again a background skew is delayed so the background that is used in that is a solid and so we're just waiting on everything else is in stock except that um, background skew so we're expecting mid to late june all right gabriel funta says who's kimberly's favorite kid just joking i know she can't choose my favorite kid i tell them is whoever's behaving and listening at that very moment oh that's right (laughs) that is my thing um a few people are asking about piggy Oh, Piggy. Okay, we had to start taking him back to daycare because he was being really bad oh. and just, I, he doesn't, we were, they were, ta- we have these different segments of time and so they were taking him for a walk like three times a day and like petting him a lot and just like snuggling with him and he just was like done. And when I would come home, he would like run to me and like, t- like try to hide from the kids and so we started taking him back like two to three times a day to the daycare so that he can like, I get he just was acting out and so I was like I think he wants some normalcy yeah he wants his alone time yeah I think he just the they get in his face and he I mean they're not they're not bad they just like to get in his face and kiss him and I think he's like get away (laughs) and I try to tell the kids like he doesn't like that and they always say why does he like you more than me and I'm like because you get in his face he doesn't like it uh, Chris Condra ha- Harmon said Piggy is her favorite. Aw, Piggy's the baby. <laughs> Old baby Piggy. Um, Lay Roper, or sorry, Lee Roper says, how did Lori and Kimberly meet? So I just was a fan. I loved Lori's stuff. And like in life, like I'm never afraid to go out and get what I want. And so I just called her up on the phone. It was back, like I didn't even call her cell phone. I called her like her home phone. I asked Riley Blake for her phone number. Riley Blake asked if, asked Lori and I called her and she was like who is this but yeah I just called her up it's the same thing just I've never been afraid to go out and get what I want if you get told no okay great you could do something else but I was just always a fan I'm still a fan all right um Katrina E says do you starch pre-cuts and if so how does that change the size so you should not starch pre-cuts because they shrink but this is what I do I waste fabric so if it's a charm pack pattern guess what? I buy a layer cake and cut around and waste fabric and then use my leftovers to make leftover log cabin blocks. Um, So if you are using a pre-cut that goes and you have to have that exact size, don't starch. What your fabric will do is it will shrink about a quarter inch one direction and not shrink the other direction. So um, I usually just waste fabric and buy a bigger pre-cut. 
but then I use the leftovers. I've been using the leftovers lately. Uh, Lois T says, just wondering if the quilt behind you is beginner friendly. I would say it is, yeah. All right. uh, Linda Neal says, is the kit by Lisa Bonjean called Santa in the Pines paper pieced or traditional piecing? I don't know. I bet it uses triangle paper, but I don't know the answer. Oh. I don't know the answer on that one. Sorry. She does a lot of triangle paper, so that's what I would assume it is, but I'm not sure. Uh, Christine Hawk said, how do you remember all of this? I sometimes don't. <laughs> I just, yeah. It's amazing, though. It's a lot I of info. I try. Beth Guernsey says, is a high-quality muslin a good choice for a quilt back? I wouldn't put a muslin on the back, but a lot of people do. Muslin also is very hard to get right now because a lot of people are using it as the lining to masks because it's slightly thicker. I don't like muslin because it's a little bit thicker, so I, I, that's why I don't like it. But if you're trying to budget, I would do that. It's cheaper, it's cheaper um, price-wise, and it's a cheaper quality, but it's thicker. So a lot of muslin is hard to get now. Monica Razzo says, I'm a new subscriber, and whenever I get an order, it says that you apologize for the packaging because of the virus. The package is beautiful already. How much better does it get? Thank you. What we're doing is we're not folding our fabric exactly like we used to. We're doing it faster to get the orders out. We've made probably 30 changes to what we're doing to try to keep employees safe. Everything, we're trying our best. Um, and, but we just want to put that in there to know that, you know, we hopefully will be able to go back to our old way of folding and ironing and all the things we used to do. But we're trying to get our orders out. All right. uh, Rebecca Wolf says, I have been looking for a class or tutorial on how to design paper piecing patterns. Any ideas? Uh, I know you can design paper piecing by drawing and then printing an electric quilt that might work um, in terms of like a class on it I don't know that I've ever heard of one I'm not sure I'm not an expert on paper piecing Chris Condra Harmon said seeing how FQS met the make-a-wish goal wasn't Kevin supposed to do a live with he's you? supposed to and he is at some point I am working on him he's when I when I say he doesn't talk he doesn't talk he's not a talker um, so it's going to be really hard. It's going to be, he's going to do it. Um, yeah, he's going to do it. I have to make him, but it's going to, he's, he's very nervous. You can ask Lily. He's like more mortified. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tracy Vasquez says, Kimberly, how many fat quarters can you starch with one can of starch? Oh my gosh. Like 20. Whoa. I use, so, um, yeah, I use a lot of cans and I'm out. Um, because I haven't gone to the grocery store in a month. I mean, we do the pickup, but you can't get, like, it's not on the pickup list or whatever. So I ordered some from Amazon, and I think it's coming next Tuesday. But I have enough to get me through uh, about two weeks. But I, that's a good reason to always buy. I buy it by the case. Or in the store, I just get a bunch of it. But I haven't gone to the grocery store in a month. I haven't gone anywhere. Mm -hmm. I went to the gas station. I go to Starbucks, <laughs> and that's it. Starbucks and the gas station. Yeah. Uh, a few people were asking about the log cabin blocks and how that's going and how many you have so far. It's going great. I have about 30. Um, some of them I can't show you because it's future fabric. So I have made Ooh. some. I can show them next week, though, because they go with what I'm going to show next week. So Ooh. I have been. And then um, what I'm going to be doing on the, the Be Patriotic, the bundle that's Lori's, I'm going to um, go ahead and make those blocks up front. So yeah, I can bring those next week. Uh, funny comment from Brandy Petit. She said he can just sit there and look pretty. LOL. About Kevin. Um, oh. Coming on the live stream. Well, I know he's not going to do it until he can get his hair cut. And I know the salons are opening up today, but I mean, he's not going to go today. He'll probably go like in two weeks. He's not going to be. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, I am not sure what I'm going to do. I do. Oh, I will tell you I'm the, what I'm most excited about is I got an appointment to get new, new glasses. Um, for the only time I could get was on Saturday and I'm like, that's fine. And I'm going to go at two 30 and I'm going to tell them, I don't want to do all the other stuff like testing my eyes. Just, I just want new, I don't, I don't need you to do all that. I just want to get, so what I do now is I can see out of this line, but I cannot see out of this. Mm. So we have a screen over here. Like if I go, I cannot see. 
I have the worst eyesight. So I am so excited that tomorrow I have an appointment to get glasses. It does take about two weeks to get them because I get the bifocals and it's some kind of funky stuff that I have that I have to get that costs a fortune. But I'm so happy that I'm gonna get to go tomorrow to get new glasses because I've been needing them and the one by my house opened. So. Ooh. Yay, that is exciting. I know, and then hopefully I can see, because I'm always telling Lily, I can't see, I can't see. I know they get sick of me saying it, but I, no. every nine months I get a new prescription. Or, yeah, every, that's how bad my eyesight's getting. But it's kind of one of those things in my family that, on my dad's side, it's just like, I have one uncle that is blind out of one eye, legally blind, and then I have another uncle, same thing. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Gabriel Fuentes, uh, the million dollar question. How's your Harry Potter quilt that oh you're gosh. going to send to Gina Tell coming along? I know. I haven't done a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll finish it one day, I swear. Mm -hmm. um, a few people are suggesting suggesting maybe Kevin could do a pre recorded appearance on a video instead oh. of live and that's too if that's too intimidating. That's a good idea. Yeah. Thanks guys. Yeah. Uh, and then nice comment from Kathy Neuferus. She says, ordered on the 27th. Don't mind waiting. Any day is a good day to get a package from Fat Quarter Shop. Yeah, so sweet. we're about 14, 12 to 15 days, depending on what you order. Mm -hmm. And we get updated every day. Um, I can promise you we're doing everything we can safely. But basically, you have to think about we have rows of fabric. So before we have pullers and they would just walk through the aisles, right? To pull the orders. Now there's one person per aisle. So the order goes from here to here to here to here. So that's one thing. It's just also spacing. Um, can only have one person per cutting table instead of two. So all kinds of things, all kinds of spacing things. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we had several super chats and members Aww. joined earlier. So I'm gonna go thank you. congratulate everyone right now and say thank you. Uh, first super chat was from Frida Yek for $20 Aww. and she just gave the $20. Thank, thank you so you. much, Frida. Uh, next super chat was from Jody Richards for $9.99. She said, hi everyone, including Piggy. Love Lori's simple shapes. Do you think you will ever do a book with them? And does Itsoma accept book proposals? So we don't accept book proposals, but for Lori So Simple Shapes, she does those with Riley Blake with the free patterns they offer. So I don't think we'll do a book on those just because that's something she does with Riley Blake. And I don't want to infringe on what she does with Riley Blake. Mm -hmm. All right, and then new members, we had Janet Wimmer. Welcome, Janet. Is it Wimmer or Vimmer? Um, and Lydia Forey, new member. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. And I think that's all the new members Thank right you. now. Thank you guys so much for joining. Okay. And we had a few more questions and comments roll in. Um, Teresa talking about the dream that she had. She said, in my dream, Lily, you were wearing striped tights like the witch tights. You were very she cute. She does wear that stuff. <laughs> thank you. It's true. She wears funky clothes and I love it. Oh, thank it's you. good. I, she has like her own style. Oh, I love it. Thanks. I appreciate it. But she does. You have... I do. Like I, I have several pairs of striped tights. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Different colors and stuff. Yeah. I love it. Oh, a few new members that joined right now. Michelle Rayola. Welcome, Michelle. And Jill Bush. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, and that free pattern we gave to our members will be available for the next two weeks. So I think it's going away on the 22nd. So if you guys join by then, you'll be able to get the new pattern. Uh, Brenda Bear said, I have lost the directions for the simple folded corners, corners ruler by Doug Lico. Is it possible to get the directions? Um, why don't you email him? His email is on Antler Quilt Designs. It might even be something that he has on his website. He might no. already have that mm -hmm. up or available, but I would email him. Because mm -hmm. I obviously don't have any extra ones. Uh, Susie Clary says, is there a way you could uh, allow us to pre-order the extra large stripology ruler and mat that fits under that ruler? So we have those on order and we have a ton on order. So I think it should be in stock any day. Uh, Michelle Hardy said, oh, this is just a funny comment. Uh, she said, ha ha ha, my three kids always ask me if they are my favorite. I tell them, well, you are definitely in my top three. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> 
I only have two that care. Like, Emma and Christopher always want to be the favorite, and that's kind of their thing, and Will and Peyton are like, whatever, we don't care. But I think, yeah, I don't... They're just... Emma and Christopher like more attention, and Will and Peyton hate attention. That One of the things they had to do this week was really fun. They had to do for... One of their assignments was media, and they had to come up with a company name, come up with what they sell, make a digital image of what they sell, and then do a video, like a commercial. And um, Peyton did his, and it was great, and he did it right away. And then Will was just mortified to do it because he was like, I don't want to be on camera. So I said, well, I'll do it for you. You can tell me what to say. Give me a script, and I'll do it. Or your brother can do it. But he eventually did it, and he came, and he said, have you ever done an ad before? And then we talked about, he his was a bookstore, so I was like, well, you could offer this or this or this. So he did film it. He did do it. But he won't let Kevin and I see it um, yet. We're, every day we ask him, can we see it? Can we see it? I know where it is in his Schoology, but we don't want to, like, go do it and then tell him we did it without yeah. anyway. But I was super proud that he, because he's very shy. Um, he doesn't like, yeah, he does not like attention. But, yeah, it was, I thought that was a good assignment. It was really, it was really fun. But um, Peyton's was, like, Louis... Indian or something because he was going to sell suits that were $5,000 and I don't know his was funny oh. his was more of like a joke mm -hmm. but yeah oh, that's awesome <laughs> but they did and they got the they even set up they even set up their iPads filmed it didn't even ask us for tripods I don't know how they did it because they didn't they don't want us to help them those mm -hmm. two kids they don't want us to have anything they just they want to be left alone the other two want help with everything, so it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Aww, they so didn't sweet. even want us to know that they were doing it because they want they knew that Kevin and I were going to ask to see it, and so Aww. they were like, "Don't tell them." <laughs> uh, Gina Garcia said, "I'm still only half done with the Harry Potter cult as well." So yeah, it's you're not the only one. Uh, and then Gina tell, oh, it was a very sweet comment. She said, every time I go to Fat Quarter Shop, I have to check out Lily's outfit. She always looks adorable. Thank you, Gina. That's very sweet. Cecile Schleicher says, the folded corner instructions are on YouTube. There you go. Cool. Uh, Vicky Robles said, what about a file folder for each ruler and direction? Some people have an extra file cabinet to do that. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Lynn Schultz said, when do you plan to go back to your regular working routine? I'm actually coming to work every day. I'm actually coming to work more than I ever came to work because I want employees to see that I'm coming in just like they are and that they're not the only ones. Um, so I am coming to work every day. Um, I usually work from home two days a week, but I have not really been doing that just because I want employees to know that I'm here just like they are and I've been helping with I've done orders I've done thread packs I've done thread sets um yeah all right and then we had another question from Connie Kaner what is the skill level on a very coriander Christmas um I would say medium to advanced some blocks but definitely not beginner and those quilts will be later in the month or block of the month later in the month the fabric hasn't come yet. Okay. Uh, funny comment from Teresa. She said, Kevin doesn't talk. Kimberly does. Maybe that's the key to a good relationship. Yeah, but you know, in real life, I really don't. I'm, mm -hmm. I really, Lily, do I talk a lot? Not really. No. Yeah, I really yeah. don't. Like on the camera, I do, but in yeah. real life, I'm pretty, I'm we're pretty similar, Kevin and I. I don't, it's funny when I see y'all's, I mean, like, I do this because, you know, I want to talk to you guys, um, but in real life, I don't talk that much. I really don't. <laughs> so guys, have a great week. Um, I will be back next Friday with a really fun show and tell, so I can't wait to see you then. All right, bye everyone.